A high-powered Melbourne legal group is battling the state government's dangerous dog laws. This week, the Barristers' Animal Welfare Panel had a significant win. I spoke to the panel's chairman, Graham McEwen. Graham McEwen, welcome to the program. Good to be here. You've had a recent win with the case of Butch, who is a pit bull terrier, and that clearly falls into the dangerous dog category under these new laws. Why did you win? Dogs had to be registered by the 29th of September 2011, which were restricted breed dogs. The owner attended at the counter of the City of Ballarat to register the dog, and to be candid, the whole process of registering that dog was bungled, and when it could have been retrieved, and the owner called and asked to come back and pay the correct fee, they didn't do it. Instead, they sent around two ranger vehicles the following morning, accompanied by police and a couple of police vehicles, seized the dog. The panel arranged for a silk, Jack Hammond, and progressively four juniors, and a large international law firm, Kingwood Mallisons, to act as instructing solicitors. And ultimately, we filed for proceedings in the Supreme Court. So the case was settled but on the basis that um, the dog was returned to the owners. But the council spent, apparently, over $100,000 on the proceedings. On that point precisely, do you take into consideration that the cost to local government when you take on these cases? I mean, $100,000 is a lot of money. We're concerned about the dog and the dog's owners. You're talking about a pretty high-powered legal team, a QC, a well-known <coughs> Melbourne law firm. How much does that make a difference to dog owners who may otherwise be representing themselves? Look, the average dog owner trying to take on a council in VCAT, let alone the Supreme Court, would have a snowflake's chance in hell. The case was highly technical, it was robustly fought, and the fact is the panel can marshal serious legal firepower to represent people. So your group has been prepared to muster a high-powered legal team and won the case of Butch. How many other cases like that are you prepared to take on? Well, the panel doesn't normally get involved in single animal cases. What we do here is to illustrate a wider point about the deficiencies of this approach, this legislation. And what I would urge the Minister to do is to seek the advice of his Animal Welfare Advisory Committee on whether this legislation on the eve of its anniversary has worked. How many other dog owners are currently fighting against their dogs being put down in, in the courts? I don't have access to the statistics, but um, I would imagine there would be scores of them who'd be doing it. And you're not ruling out helping them to? No, but it, it, uh, we can't take on every case because we have a, another agenda. But we, what we do is we do take on tough cases where people really do need assistance. How significant a blow do you think your win with the Butch case is for the value government's dangerous dog laws? Well, I think it illustrates how these laws aren't working, except for one case where we gave advice. We haven't lost a case yet. We've always managed to secure the dog's life. Graham McEwen, thank you very much for your time. Pleasure.